Divine Flight. I'm sorry, Pep. Equestria was now brighter than ever. To say that the first inclusive Maritime Bay Day was a success would be an understatement. Pit Petals and Posey had finished the new Maritime Bay Day song to a standing ovation by the large crowd that had gathered, with it being the talk of the town just days later. The main five had saved the day, and stopped magic from disappearing. Earth Ponies had also gotten their own magic as well, thanks to the event. It was a pretty special day, not only strengthening the bond between the new protectors of Equestria, but brought the three pony tribes closer than they had ever been before. Even Zip couldn't believe that they had made it out alright. For all of her investigating of the magic fluctuations, nothing could prepare her for the near disaster the crystal's malfunctioning caused. At least now she knew that they were powered by positive energy from the ponies. But that still didn't explain how they were created to begin with and how they got separated. Needless to say, Zip had her work cut out for her, trying to find answers to all the questions that she had posed to her friends following the big events. Luckily, she was able to convince her mom, Queen Haven, to allow her stay in Maritime Bay. She knew that eventually she would have to give the good life up with her friends and return to her responsibilities in Zephyr Heights, but the longer she was able to put that off, the better. Unlike her sister Pip, who relished and craved the attention given to her on a daily basis, Zip wanted nothing to do with it. She was always fine being a loner, being the only pony in the whole royal family not content with lying to the Pegasi about their flights. In the end, she was happy to meet her friends and live with them. Getting away from the palace had given her the opportunity to further explore who she was as a pony and what she wanted to do with her life. In her mind, she wasn't Princess Material. She was a detective trying to solve the realm's greatest mysteries. But something from that fateful day that she met her friends was still haunting her to this day. Something that she had done that would never leave her. Something that still ate away at her very being. She had exposed Pip at her concert back when the heist for the Pegasus Crystal commenced. She and Pip didn't talk about it much, and when they did, it was always as a playful jab at one or the other. Most of that stemmed from the fact that it wasn't that hard to get Pip's fans back. Once they had seen that she was now a national hero, they all came flocking back to her, happy to be her Pip squeaks again, and eat up everything she livestreamed to them. Yet, Zip couldn't shake the fact that the incident was never fully resolved. They rarely talked about it, yeah, but the fact was that she had cost her sister everything she had held dear, all due to a reckless heist. She knew deep down in her conscience that she would never be able to rest until she gave her sister a proper apology. And that was exactly what she was going to do. It all started when she was helping some Pegasi foals with her flying lessons. After returning the fillies to their mother, she communicated with Pip through the special walkie-talkies that they had, and told her to meet her by the Crystal Bright House in order for her to share a very important discovery. Pip agreed, and Zip was on her way. When she arrived, Pip was already there, taking selfies with her phone. When she saw Zip, she brightened. Zip, there you are. This better not be another false alarm because you've been doing these quite a lot the past week. Posey and I were practicing some additional lyrics for next year. It's not. Zip said. Pip, I... Do you remember your concert back when magic was still gone? When it was revealed that we couldn't fly? Pip cocked her head in confusion. <sighs> You're bringing that up. Zip, it's over now. Magic is back and everything's fine now. You're just being paranoid. Oh, I got something that'll help. She opened her mouth to sing a reprise of Everything's Gonna Be Okay. Fortunately, Zip managed to stop her right on time. Oh, Pip, please, can we just have a serious discussion about this? You've been avoiding it whenever I try and bring it up. Does it really not bother you at all anymore? Pip sighed. <sighs> Zip, why are you bringing this up now? Did something happen? Yeah, the fact that I ruined your life and just brushed it under the rug happened! Zip shouted, letting all the emotion come out. I should have been more careful. I shouldn't have just left you hanging there in the spotlight for every pony to see. What kind of sister does that make me? Pip nodded slowly. I see where you're coming from. To be honest, I did feel hurt when I confronted you and you just laughed it off like it was nothing. But in the end, I think it was a good wake-up call. For both of us, but more specifically me. Really? Zip asked her. Yeah. Pip told her. I was practically taking advantage of the high-class life. Losing it all was a big wake-up call that, yeah, I'm no better than any pony else in Zephyr Heights. I guess I started using social media to compensate for the fact that I'll never be you, Zip. I, I, I don't understand. Zip was caught off guard by that last sentence. I mean, you're destined to be queen someday, whether you want to or not. Explained Pip sadly. You always have mom's undivided attention because you're the one every pony is going to be looking up to. 
You don't care for all that attention, but I crave it, Zip. That's why I started becoming a social media star, because that way, I could feel like I was important as you. Being surrounded by so many followers, I... I actually felt like I was worth something. Losing all that? It hurt. But I needed it. I let my quest for fame make me so cold and condescending towards you. I knew you didn't want to be in on that lie, and I just ignored your feelings. I'm sorry about that, Zip. Zip let out a slight chuckle. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not the only one wanting to apologize for something I did in my past. Pip smiled through gathering tears. No, you aren't. What made you remember that incident? I've been keeping it bottled up inside of me for such a long time. Zip spoke. I mean, every time we brought it up, it was always as a joke. I never really got to tell you how sorry I was for ruining the one thing that mattered to you the most, even if it was just temporary. And now that I know you started doing social media to feel like you were worth something, I just feel even worse. Nothing is worth making my little sister feel worthless, not even all the magic and friendships in the world. Aw, thanks. Pip said. And it looks like I still haven't learned my lesson. I didn't believe you about the whole magic glitching, and for that, Sunny almost died trying to save Posey. If it wasn't for her alicorn thing, she would have actually perished in that pit. I'm a pretty poor excuse for a friend. Zip shook her head. No, you aren't. Don't ever say that. You made a mistake. So did I. Every pony, no matter who they are, royalty or not, makes mistakes. No pony is perfect. You did what you had to do and saw it through without exemption. You may not be destined to be queen, but you're still extremely important to me. And as long as I think you're the most important pony in the entire universe, then who cares what every pony else thinks, right? Pip wiped her tears. Thanks, Zip. About what you said about social media being the only thing that matters the most to me, it matters a whole lot. But nothing can ever replace sisterhood. You'll always be the pony I love most out of everyone. Always. And I love you the most out of everyone, too. Zip replied, wiping her own tears away. Let's start over, sis. Let's work together and build a brighter future for every pony in Equestria. And if you want to talk about something, go ahead and do so. I know I will. We'll always be there for each other no matter what. I promise. And I promise to always listen to you from now on if you think there's a problem. Pip promised her. You're the investigator in this town. Zip reached out with her right hoof. We'll do our part. Then Pip reached out with her right hoof and touched it to Zip's in an act of forging an unbreakable promise. Hoof to heart. With that, a new promise was made. It was a promise of empathy, a promise of solidarity. But most importantly of all, a promise of family. I absolutely cannot get enough of Pip and Zip. They really are a perfect pair to make stories about, hence this one. Anywho, let's get on to our perfect donators. Top donators are 630, Jaten Man, Only One Thing, Cerule Ryan, and Iron Sky. Darkside, Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moonheart, Pastel Skies, Austin Rowland, Stu Hex, Sword Brother and Mordred, Omicron Library, Will Chris, Twinky, Ride Soul, Badass Waffle, Shadow Moon, Luigi88, and many more beautiful people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.